for a pet. And we have all these colors here. Look at this polka dot moment. They're so hot, but I hate polka dots, so I don't think I'd ever get them. But they're still hot. Okay, so I have all these sun light things. Hot pink. Hot pink. White and black. And I'm gonna try all of them on now. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so this is the first one. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I think even from the crotch, like the front, it's pretty nice. It's, it's actually beautiful. I love it. Gorgeous. They're hot. Okay guys, so these are gorgeous too. I love them. Oh my god, it's such a cat day. Um, I'm not too sure about how my ass looks, but it's pretty hot. Okay, so these are kind of dope, but I think I just wear them to sleep. So, yeah. So cute though. It's so as usual, Zara keeps bringing people together even whether they like it or not. There's somebody at the cash counter that I would rather avoid. A certain influencer. Um, so we're waiting for them to get done so we can go and say our shit. But they're taking really long because they're super obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina. So that I could tell you bum bitches sitting at home. I'm Angelina, you just gonna insert Nikki right here so she can remind you too. I'm Angelina, you Jennifer. <laughs> Guys, it's my omelet with truffle. And Priya's gotten potato and leek soup, right? Onion soup. Oh sorry. <laughs> also, I love this cafe. Like, no joke. I love it. I'm obsessed. This is my new favorite place. Because I'm Angelina, you Jennifer. Hey guys, so I've got a macaroon. I'm trying to limit my sugar, which is why I've got one. Also, our meal at I'm Angelina was really good. Like, I'm literally coming back here 24 7. Even when Bria's not here, I'm gonna squat right here and be like, Angelina. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, guys, me and Priya are now hunting for APM Monaco. Um, Where are we going to look at Oh, are we? No, that's like, I think right at the top near Virgin and stuff. I think. Okay. Or it's near Gallery Lafayette. We need to look for that too, but... We're going to look for APM Monaco. Yes. Because Priya has an obsession with APM Monaco. The mood, the mindset. Yeah. So, because I really like this, uh, the shape, and it's like so cute. Yeah, it is really cool. It's just so. chic. It's sleek and so, chic. Yeah, either I get two. I think I'm gonna get this instead of getting two of this. Yeah, she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> she's been ready for a while. She's not allowed to go out. <laughs> True. <laughs> Guys, we have some really cool pieces. You guys should come into there's this one that i really like so you see that the moon chandelier sort of a situation i think that is so cute i need to go see it of course yes. i'll take the machine with me <laughs> okay guys next on our list is yes. la vita yep. um the also there's some yes. really cool sets here you guys need to check them out for quality jewels Okay guys, so this 
is the fragrance that I was looking for all this time, but I ended up getting that one before. This is the one. The not powdery, more fresh scent. Guys, look, I'm with one of my friends. She's awesome. She likes the channel. So I'm not delusional. But, yeah. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> We're still looking for Louisa, you guys. Louisa. Show it to me. Show it to me. <laughs> so pretty, but I got really good content of it before. Okay, guys, we're here at Louisa. Okay, so, right over there with some allergy reaction. <laughs> but I don't see the one that I like, so. Okay, guys, so I am done with the mall. The main purpose of today was actually to look for tiaras at Lovisa. For those of you guys that don't know, and you guys don't know for good reason, I used to wear tiaras all the time as part of like just, you know, about having fun with fashion. It isn't really like a major thing. But I think also, because um, I am, you know, even though I say I am non-binary physically, if I were to identify I am male, so I, you know, I think it has to, complement your look and for me like traditional tiaras don't really work so I have to find something that looks cooler um, something smaller something dainty and something finer I don't want to be walking around with like a cheap looking tiara it's not the look it's not the vibe but I do know that a lot of really cool Arabic stores sell um, you know affordable tiaras and that's really what I'm about oh if you guys are following me on Instagram uh, you guys would know that I did an article on most expensive and affordable tiara companies so you guys should check that out I should probably be taking my own advice <sighs> but I'm talking about tiaras for like casual wear not a wedding so yeah can't really shop the brands I'm talking about but anyway I'm on the way home now I think I'm gonna order um, this really cool necklace I saw from High Society Jewels they're a really cool contemporary jewelry company and I think they're jewelry is plated with gold and silver so yeah uh, I'll leave the link in the bio make sure you guys check them out super excited for it so I am finally ready and I did decide to wear my Attico top with my white trousers I just think it looks super chic I did try wearing the pink trouser but I felt like I just wore that pink pattern trouser the last time for dinner and it was just too close to it mentally for me and I feel like I'm just stepping into wearing color again so I feel more comfortable in this look and I still feel like I'm pushing myself because I love the flare of this trouser the oversize of it all the shoulder pad detail the fact that this isn't tucked I just feel like it speaks more about letting the, the natural flow of the garments like speak and and tell a story and I'm super excited to photograph this look um as you guys know I love photographing things that I actually wear I hate just putting on outfits to do it for Instagram. And oftentimes in the past, because I'm not gonna pretend that I've never done that, in the past when I have, I've just felt so, I just felt so unauthentic about it because it's just not been me. And oftentimes I've deleted the pictures because I've hated them and just didn't feel real to me. And um, I'm just so excited to wear this. I love clothes and I love this Attico top and I love this trouser. I got on some uh, fobbling. Um, you know, I don't typically wear a lot of the real like jewelry that I have. I just like wearing fashion jewelry outside. I think I bought this from like a souk or something. Um, it's super cute and this ring is super old. It's like, I think me and my mom bought it from some, um, from one of those souks near where we used to live. And um, I love it, super excited. Hey guys, I'm on the way to CRC to meet Sammy. Okay guys, so I'm on the way to meet Sammy for dinner. Um, this light's horrible, but I will be vlogging from the lounge and yeah, I'm excited. <laughs>
guys. So I'm actually getting ready to go to a restaurant um, as part of something that Mika Sharf is working with. And I'm excited. I was trying on looks the whole morning. I felt so bloated and puffy in everything that I wore. But I think this look looks cute. Um, if you're following me on TikTok, you'll see the head to toe look and probably on Instagram. Because honestly, I can't like insert. Well, maybe I can, maybe I will. I don't know. Either way, um, this head wrap looks super cute in person. Um, not so much maybe on video, but it is so cute in person. And I'm excited about it. So I'm getting ready now. I'm prepping my skin. I will catch you guys from the location. The name of the restaurant is Mira. I haven't been there before, but I've heard a lot about it. It's going to be super cute. And let's just hope I don't boil to death. I don't think it will because allegedly it's indoors. So let's see what happens. Guys, my laptop is trying to sabotage me. I'm trying to get ready doing my skincare and literally it's playing Big Girls Don't Cry and it played R. Kelly before that. And I'm like, I'm not supporting R. Kelly. Like, what are you trying to do to me, laptop? Like, literally scam. Scamation. Anyway, I gotta get ready. Bye. Okay, guys. So, um, I am running a little bit late, but I'm kind of living for my look. Um, I feel a little bit bloated today, but let's see what the pictures end up like. The reservation was made under my name, even though I was invited by Mika. But Mika couldn't book the table under his name because it's something to do with work. And they called me yesterday and they never called me back. And now they call me again and they ask me where I am. And I postponed leaving home because of Miss Mika Ashraf, who is running late herself. But price is averted because Priya is going to go down to the table because Priya lives in the vicinity of this restaurant. So I just hate not being on time for things. But yeah. Guys, we got a shirt in the building. Also, the light is behind me, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone. Did you wipe your gum? It's wipe! Me every day. Can you wipe your gum? Guys, we got a shirt finally here. All of it. I choose my other pair. I was just like, my well. yeah. you, you click, uh... Oh, we're doing it again. That's why you're upset. Tell us. No, the venue's amazing. I love my restaurant. I love my job. We know you love it. But what happened over there? <laughs> Was that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how dare you? You beast. <laughs> Guys, look at all this dessert. <laughs> the back is like fully wood. But it can't see this like that. This could be rushi. <laughs> guys, also, Priya keeps trying to yank my scarf off, and I keep telling her no because I'm a survivor. Okay, guys, so this is my first time in Priya's apartment. It's so cute. There's a dog. I there. love it. Also, I love the boss energy of just taking up while you're like, your neighbors can see you. Like, wow. And if you thought that was crass, well, on this channel, we're uncensored, unfiltered. And if you don't like it, dick up the bitch. Also, this is Cuba. She's so cute. She's a full moment. She doesn't trust me, but a lot of people don't when they first meet me. Also, Mikasha left. She told us she was getting sweaty and she left. And we're out here. Just living our best life. A moment, a mood, a vibe. 
Hi, Cuba. You're a TikTok sensation now. Obviously can't eat a lot of stuff with cheese in it, but I did nibble on some of the bread and the salmon that I had at the end was great. Like so good. Hit the spot. And Mika is traveling in three days, so I guess I won't see him. So this is the last outing we have with him before he travels. But I'm on the way home now. Priya was so nice to have me in her apartment. She made me some great coffee. Uh I'm just guys, it's it's really about good vibes, good energy, and that's all your life should be about. Surround yourself with people who uplift and celebrate you and not people that don't see your limitless potential. At the end of the day, you should see your own limitless potential, but I feel like sometimes when you ask people for advice, they give you advice based on the achievements that they've had in their life. And sometimes, you know, not everybody's on the same journey. So you have to listen to yourself and your own instincts. I know that you guys, you know, some of you don't know me, maybe watching this channel and think that I'm talking out of my ass, but I'm talking from my own experiences and the things that have happened to me in my life and the goals that I have. And I'm very content with where I'm at in life right now, but I also know that while being content with what I have, I also know what I deserve. And I also know that while being thankful, I'm aiming for more. And that's how you have to be in life. You have to have a bigger, grander vision for yourself. Even if your grander vision is something as simple as to save money and go back to your home country or not, whatever it is, you know, listen to your own truth and your own instincts. Okay, guys, I hope the audio was not messed up because I have a habit of covering uh, the audio box. But love you guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next